Hey guys, Too Fanatical for you here. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use your PS4 external hard drive on PS5. What you can do and what you can't do. And also, I'm going to show you which USB port you should be using and which one you should be actually avoiding. Now, that's PS5. That's the front of PS5. You have two USB ports. One is USB Type-C super speed, 10 gigabits per second. The second one is actually USB Type-A high speed. What high speed means it means it's 2.0, it only can transfer 480 megabytes per second. So that's like super slow comparing to the, US, to the front USB-C. But the good news is at the back we have USB Type-A super speed ports and they offer 10 gigabit transfer speeds as well, which is brilliant. Now let me also show you this website here, High Speed USB, that's the one on the front, it only offers 480 megabits per second, where is the ones on the back? They are actually uh, USB 3.1 Gen 2, so 10 gigabits per second. That's the two of the back ones. And also the front USB-C, there's actually two different types of USB-C ports. Well, this one actually offers 10 gigabits per second instead of five. So the old Gen uh, USB-C only offers five, but this one's 10, so we're golden on that one. Now, out of curiosity, I found out what the Xbox Series X has, and it turns out Xbox Series X does not have USB-C ports, and it also does not offer 10 gigabit per second transfer speeds. It only offers 5 gigabit transfer speeds across the USB Type-A ports, which is kind of interesting. Uh, there is one advantage though on Xbox Series X and S, you can actually move your next-gen games over to your external hard drive. What you cannot do on PS5 as of yet, it might come in a future update, but as of yet you cannot move uh, your PS5 games onto external hard drive. You can only move the PS4 games. All right guys, so I'm not gonna bore you with all that stuff anymore. I'm gonna drop a link in the description of this video as well if you wanna check out and read that for yourselves, what you can and what you can't plug into those USB ports. This video is going to be more about the storage, so settings, let's go to PS5 settings, now we scroll down to storage, there's two storage things, console storage and extended storage, currently I have not plugged it in yet, but just for the note, this is the last of us part 2 external hard drive for PS4, it has 2 terabytes. Also note, if you're planning to use the PS4 games off the external hard drive, you can only use the back USBs. Now, so what happened when I plugged it in, now it says, the USB drive formatted as extended storage, move your games to free up space in console storage. So you can move the games off your console onto the external hard drive, obviously. Well, now that we have formatted the external hard drive, we head down to games and we can move over to the tab that's called items you can move. So basically what we can straight away remove from the console onto the external storage is PS4 Grand Theft Auto 5. Uh, days gone. So basically PS4 games. You cannot move uh, PS5 games as I said and turns out you can move some apps Which is kind of weird, but okay Now guys, let me show you what happens if you try to move some of your screenshots or like game recordings onto that same hard drive So let's head to media gallery I have some clips here. Let's click uh, Let's click on this one here. So we're gonna select uh, let's say a screenshot and like a small clip I recorded, let's go to these three dots. I'm slightly in the way there. So copy to USB. Okay, sounds good, right? And this is what it's gonna say. You'll copy two items to your USB drive. Hell yeah, let's go. And USB drive is not connected. So why does it say so? So why can't I move those files onto the USB? Is because I have to format the USB again. That's gonna be special for videos, screenshots and music. So you kind of have to choose. The best way kind of is to have two different uh, external hard drives, one for the games and the other one to move the media around. Right guys, so earlier we formatted the hard drive to be usable for PS4 games. Now the Windows does not recognize this hard drive anymore. So how do you reformat it back for use with Windows? It's basically on Windows 10 type in disk management. That'll bring up this window over here. We're gonna expand that. And you have to locate which disk that is. It's gonna be unallocated. And I know it's this disk because it matches the size and it's unallocated. So we're gonna right click on that. And cl click uh, new simple volume. Right, yep, I agree. We're gonna assign the following letter H. So it's gonna be your H drive. Now we're gonna format it back to NTFS. We could skip a step, but let's get to it. Okay, 
So I guess as you can see, it's back and usable for Windows now. Now guys, let's see what happens if I plug this USB into my PS5. Okay, right, so I just plugged the USB back in my PS5. Now let's head to Media Gallery on PS5. Now, copy to USB. Copy two items to USB, yes. Copy, the USB drive isn't connected. And yet, now the Windows recognizes it and the PS5 doesn't. So what do we do now? Now we're gonna format it expat. Okay guys, we're back on my PC then. So same old H drive, right click on this and click on format. Now there's actually two choices, NTFS, which is default, and expat. We could have formatted it straight back to expat in the previous step. I just wanted to show you what you guys might get. Earlier when I plugged that USB for the first time on my PS4, it actually said you have to format it to expat. So let's go. Expat it is. Yes, it will erase all the data. Format complete. Okay guys, plugged it back in on my PS5, so same gallery, again down there, and okay, let's select a clip and a screenshot, now back to those three dots there, copy to USB, copy to items, and here you go, we can copy. Okay, and out of curiosity, what if we wanted to transfer a game? <laughs> I'm just trying to show you as much of the issues as you could possibly like have so storage extended storage and here you go you can't place the games on there you have to format it to ps4 i guess to sum this all up basically what you have to do you have to format one drive specifically just for the use of ps4 games if you're gonna use that same uh, hard drive on your pc it will not recognize it you have to reformat it back again to ntfs or expat so what is ntfs the ntfs is the most modern file system windows uses ntfs for its system drive and by default most non-removable drives so and what expat is so expat actually is modern replacement of fat32 and more devices and operating systems support it than ntfs but it's not nearly as widespread as FAT32. Anyways, more, more devices support XFAT than they support NTFS, so particularly older ones may only support FAT32. NTFS is ideal for internal drives, while XFAT is generally ideal for flash drives. However, you may sometimes need to format an external drive with FAT32 if XFAT is not supported. So in this case, it's best to format your external hard drive to XFAT, then you can use the hard drive on your PC and also on the console to move like data around. Right, so I kind of hope that this video kind of helped you out, guys. If it did, please drop a like, subscribe, help, help me build this channel up. That'd be totally awesome. And thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day. Bye.